Hello and welcome to Stories of Success. Today we will talk about Xavi, the personal life, achievements and challenges of the Spanish football manager. I've been lucky enough to be brought up on the Barcelona ethos, which has taught me the value of being part of a team. Today for you, tomorrow for me. Those qualities are essential for life in general. Xavi on learning the team ethos of Barcelona while at the club's youth system, La Masia. Xavier Hernán de Crius, known as Xavi, is a Spanish professional football manager and former player who is the manager of La Liga club Barcelona. Widely considered one of the best midfielders of all time, Xavi is renowned for his passing, vision, ball retention, and positioning. Xavi joined La Masia, the Barcelona Youth Academy, at age 11. He made his first team debut against Mallorca in August 1998. In all, he played 767 official matches, a former club record. With Barcelona, Xavi won eight La Liga titles and four UEFA Champions League titles. Xavi won the FIFA World Youth Championship in 1999, and the Olympic silver medal at the 2000 Olympics. He made his senior team debut in 2000, and was capped 133 times for his country. He played an integral role in Spain's victory at the 2010 FIFA World Cup, as well as their wins at UEFA Euro 2008 and UEFA Euro 2012. Xavi is a product of FC Barcelona's La Masia youth system. His father, Joaquin, was a former player for Sabadell in the first division. Xavi made his way through the youth and reserve teams and was a key member of Josep Maria Gonzalvo's Barcelona B team that won promotion to the second division. Xavi made his Barcelona debut in a Copa Catalunya match against Lleida on 5 May 1998. His debut in La Liga came against Valencia on 3 October 1998. Xavi became Barcelona's principal playmaker after an injury to Pep Guardiola in the 1999-2000 season. Xavi was named the vice-captain in the 2004-05 season, in which he helped Barcelona win La Liga and the 2004 Supercopa de España. He was named La Liga Spanish Player of the Year in 2005. Xavi is a player who has the Barcelona DNA, someone who has the taste for good football, someone who is humble and someone who has loyalty to this club. From the first moment I saw him play, I knew he would become the brain behind Barcelona for many years to come. Former Barcelona coach Pep Guardiola, September 2008. Xavi was named player of the tournament at Euro 2008. He spoke to Bayern Munich about a transfer. Pep Guardiola convinced him that he was too important to the club to leave. He was a main part of Barcelona's treble and scored the fourth goal in the 2009 Copa del Rey final against Athletic Bilbao. Xavi was voted UEFA Champions League best midfielder for his contribution during Barcelona's victorious 2008-09 Champions League campaign. He was the highest assisting player in La Liga with 20, and in the Champions League, with 7, he earned 29 assists overall that season. During the 2009-10 season, journalists increasingly noted Xavi's contribution to the Barcelona team. For example, on the 9th of June 2010, Xavi signed a new four-year contract with the club. His contract could be automatically renewed up to the 30th of June 2016 based on number of games played. On the 29th of November, he scored his third goal against arch-rivals Real Madrid in a 5-0 home win. On the 2nd of January 2011, in a league match against Levante, Xavi made his 549th appearance for the club in all competitions, matching the record held by Magueli. Xavi later became the player with the most appearances for Barcelona of all time. Xavi scored the winning goal in the Group H game against AC Milan, a vital match for Barcelona's progression in the Champions League knockout stage. In total, 
Xavi had the best goal-scoring return of his career in 2011-12 season with 10 Liga goals, two in the Copa del Rey, which Barcelona won, and one in the Club World Cup final win. On 18 December 2012, Barcelona renewed Xavi's contract, extending it until 30 June 2016. Xavi was named in the FIFA World XI, along with teammates Iniesta, Messi and Dani Alves. Barcelona had virtually secured their La Liga title by the start of 2013, eventually equaling Real Madrid's 100-point record of the previous season. In June 2014, it was announced that Xavi would be leaving the club. On the 22nd of July, however, after talks with newly appointed manager and former teammate Luis Enrique, Xavi decided to stay at camp now for one more season. He was also appointed as club captain. On 6 June 2015, Xavi came on as a 78th-minute substitute for Andres Iniesta to make his final appearance for Barcelona. Barcelona won its fifth European Cup, beating Juventus at Berlin's Olympia Stadion. This made Barcelona the first club in history to win the treble of domestic league, domestic cup and European Cup twice. On 21 May 2015, Xavi announced that he would join Qatari club Al Sadd at the end of the 2014-15 season on a three-year contract. According to his agent, the deal would involve him becoming an ambassador for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, and also start his coaching qualifications. Xavi won his first trophy with Al Sadd following a 2-1 victory over El Jaish in the Qatar Cup final on 29 April 2017. In October 2018, Al Sadd reached the 2018 AFC Champions League semi-finals of the tournament with Xavi as captain. Xavi played for Spain at the 2000 Olympics, 2002 World Cup, Euro 2004, 2006 World Cup, Euro 2008, 2009 Confederations Cup, 2010 World Cup, Euro 2012, 2013 Confederations Cup and the 2014 World Cup. In 1999 in the FIFA U20 Youth Cup in 1999, Xavi was a part of the Spanish team that won the tournament in Nigeria. Xavi was named Euro 2008's player of the tournament after Spain defeated Germany 1-0 in the final. Xavi was dominant in midfield, where his passing and reading of the game was pivotal to Spain's success. Xavi scored the first goal in the semi-final against Russia, which Spain won 3-0. In the final, he made the pass from which Fernando Torres scored the winning goal. Xavi was named in Spain's squad for the 2010 World Cup in South Africa. He provided the most accurate passes, 599 with a passing success rate of 91%. He crossed the ball inside the 18-yard box more than any other player in the tournament. On 28 May 2019 it was announced that Xavi would take over as manager of Al Sadd on a two-year contract. Xavi helped the club reach the semi-finals of the AFC Champions League, where they were eliminated by Al Hilal FC 6-5 on aggregate. Xavi is widely considered one of the best midfielders of all time. He relies largely on his ability to find and exploit space as a deep-lying playmaker. A diminutive, composed, agile, and technically skilled player with a slender physique and a low center of gravity. Xavi's vision, pinpoint accurate passing, excellent off-the-ball movement, superb reading of the game, positional sense, and world-class ball control allowed him to dictate the flow of play in midfield. These qualities were displayed by his performance during Spain's 2010 World Cup victory, where he maintained a 91% passing success rate throughout. Xavi was named in the Ballon d'Or Dream Team, a greatest all-time 11. Barcelona president Sandro Rosal believed that Xavi, together with Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta and Sergio Busquets, perfected the club's tiki-taka style of play. In the 2005-06 season, 
Xavi tore the ligaments in his left knee in training. He was out of action for four months but returned in April and was on the substitutes bench for Barcelona's win in the 2006 Champions League final against Arsenal. He also won La Liga and the Supercopa de España again. This was a story of success about Xavi. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and join us for more.